why you can't afford a house. You think you'll never be able to afford a home? Here's the truth no one's telling you. It's more than just about saving more money. It's about understanding what goes into these insane housing prices, as well as the costs associated with monthly mortgage payment. In this video, I'm going to reveal why buying a home feels impossible right now and how you can still make it happen. If you've been frustrated and stuck, this is the video you cannot afford to miss. Watch to the end of this video. Let's get ready to dive into your home ownership journey. So one of the number one factors as to why you can't afford a home is housing prices. Currently we're seeing insane housing prices across the country. Now real estate is centralized. The housing prices that you may see in Atlanta are going to be different than in Delaware as opposed to California and Texas. In the Atlanta, Georgia market, we have not seen significant decreases in housing prices, which have affected the real estate and housing market. Even though we're currently seeing interest rates go on the decline, they're continuously dropping. The housing prices have an effect as well, which are still keeping buyers sitting on the fence. So the number one reason is housing prices. One of the other factors is property taxes. Currently, because over the last five years, we have seen increased property values. And when there's increased property values, cities and counties are increasing property tax assessments, which are making property taxes continue to grow and increase and as they increase that plays an important factor in your monthly mortgage payment now while we're speaking about monthly mortgage payment I just want you to understand what the five factors are in a monthly mortgage payment you have principal and interest which is the principal and the interest rate that you have on the property which makes PI which is part of principal and interest you also have taxes which is property taxes you have insurance which is homeowners insurance which protects the property, and then you have mortgage insurance. Mortgage insurance or private mortgage insurance is required on a property unless you put 20% down if you're using FHA or conventional financing. Now, when we talk about homeowners insurance, across the nation, homeowners insurance is increasing drastically. In some markets, we've seen as much as 50% increases in homeowners insurance. And I'll give you an example what that means and what the significance is. If your homeowners insurance was $1,200. That means you were paying $100 a month into your monthly mortgage payment for homeowners insurance. If that doubled and it went to $2,400 a month, you're now paying $200 a month, which means your mortgage payment has increased $100 a month. So property taxes and homeowners insurance are a key part of your monthly mortgage payment. Those are reasons why people are qualifying for four or $500,000 homes. However, they don't want to pay the mortgage payment that goes along with that because of all the five factors into it, which is principal interest, taxes, and insurance. If you're finding the information that you like helpful so far, do me a huge favor and hit the thumbs up button so we can get it pushed out to the YouTube algorithm. So another key factor into why you can't afford to purchase a home is because you currently have too much debt. Right now on national average, Americans have created trillions of dollars in new credit card debt, which has now affected your ability to purchase a home because it, that debt goes into your debt to income ratio. Now, by having more credit card debt, that means you have less money that you can afford to use on a home. Example, if you have $500 in credit card debt that you didn't have previously, that's $500 less dollars that you can utilize to qualify for a home. So one thing that you need to do in terms of being able to afford a home is to keep your debt manageable and start paying down on your credit card debt as well as any other personal loans or debt that you have. Now, while we're speaking about debt, another reason why you can't afford to purchase a home is because of high car payments. Currently, Americans are getting six and $700 a month car payments, which is also affecting your debt to income ratio. One huge tip that I would give anyone that's looking to purchase a home is to get a car. If you need to get a car, I would wait till after you've purchased your home. If you, in fact, definitely need to get a car, right now I would try to buy a cash car so that you can pay cash for it and get you around and from A to Z until you purchase your home. It's always easier to purchase a car 
after you've purchased a home, but not in the reverse. When car dealers and finance companies for cars look at you, they look at your stability as well. So if you already own a home, it's going to be easier to get a car than if you buy the $700 car and then try to purchase your home of your dreams. The reason why is because now you have $700 in debt that counts against your debt to income ratio, which means you are able to purchase $700 less worth of home that can go towards your mortgage. The biggest reason that you cannot afford a home is you don't have no money. With all the current consumer debt that we're bringing on and all of the expenses of inflation, we've got eggs at $6, gas at $5, $6, $3, depending on what part of the country's in, and all of the excess spending that we do on food, that is affecting our ability to save. So these are a couple of things that I suggest. If you don't have any money and you're broke, what I would suggest is to create a budget. Take a look at all of your expenses, all of your bills that you have, put them down on paper, and you have to physically look at them and you have to write them down. That's the key so you'll know, right? If it's in an app, I would still write it down so you can have it in front of you, and that's you and whoever's in your home, your spouse, parents, whoever, so you can look at a budget. From there, you need to look and see what you can cut back on, what you may be paying double on. Example, your wife may have Apple Music, you may have Apple Music. Let's see if you can get a family plan so you can share that Apple Music bill and you're not paying two separate Apple Music bills. Another thing to look at is how often you eat out. If you eat out five times a week, maybe you cut it back to three or see if you can scale back to once. So example, my family, we've scaled back to eating out on one time a week. It's either Friday night, Saturday or Sunday. If we have a busy schedule going on and we know for that previous week, we'll try to meal prep to make sure we have meals that we can get on the go and move fast and doesn't slow us up. So your biggest thing to do is get on a budget, see where you can cut, and also potentially see where you can make additional funds. Maybe you have a yard sale and sell some items that you no longer need. Maybe you hop on eBay or Poshmark or somewhere or Facebook Marketplace where you can sell items that you no longer need. Take that money from them items you no longer need and sell and use those not to buy new stuff, but to pay down on current debt. Or if you don't have current debt, if you don't have a lot of debt and you have the ability to pay it down, then you can begin trying to save those funds. So look at ways where you can make more money as well as cutting out on some of your spending and also see if you can do overtime at your job. Make sure it makes sense to do the overtime on your job, but I would definitely do that. Another thing is to figure out how to save more money. If you have a 401k, you do have the ability to utilize your 401k in the purchase of a home. What I would do is make sure that I'm maxing out my contribution to my 401k that way your company can match it and that's a way for you to have a instant savings as well so to sum it up the reasons why you can't afford to purchase a home is high housing prices property taxes increasing homeowners insurance increased consumer debt and not having enough money if you found this video helpful do me a huge favor and give me a thumbs up and if you have any questions pertaining to home ownership, my link will be below for you to reach out to me. I'm Kevin Jefferson, the People's Lender. Have a great day.